Hey, what's up guys? This is Head Bob. Um, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial um, on how to do Pokemon Ami for um, alt main speedruns, whatever. Um, it's basically so in the Gen 7 speedrun, uh, they use something called Pokemon Refresh, which is basically a way of giving affection to your Pokemon. Um, and the reason you'd want to do this for both Gen 6 and Gen 7 games. Um, is because after you get two levels of affection, um, you get 1.2 times boosted, boosted experience, which can definitely be very helpful for any kind of speedrun, really, but it's just too slow in Gen 6 for um, um, the main run, so we don't we try to avoid it at all costs. Um, so, I'm here, uh, right outside uh, this first trainer, right outside uh, Aqua Chord City. Um, in the same spot that you'd be for trade alt mains, wanted trades, and the reason for that is to play the games in Pokemon Ami, you need to have three Pokemon in your party. So you'll see here I have Chespin, Scatterbug, and Fletchling. Um, I'm just going to use Chespin for this example. Um, and so basically how this works is you go into Pokemon Ami in the bottom screen here, and you... Um, so you have this like, you go from the PSS, you scroll with the arrow, and you go into play here. And so basically how Pokemon Ami works is you have these Pokepuffs right here, and when you feed them to your Pokemon, they give uh, affection and also fill them up. And then you can also pet your Pokemon um, in certain spots, and that will both raise their affection and lower their enjoyment and so after you've pet and fed them enough they'll they won't you won't be able to do it anymore and the way you refresh those levels is by playing is by playing games um, so I'm gonna start the process here you want to start by feeding uh, these fancy ones here because they give more affection you see there's four hearts there and then this frosted one gives three you always start with these same exact puffs you want to basically just keep feeding them, feeding these puffs until basically your Pokemon stops eating, which should be around four or five of them. So we'll do that. You'll see they start to eat slower and slower as it fills up. See that when it stops in the middle there, that means it really can only have one more before it's it's completely full. And now I'm going to pet once, just basically can pet anywhere where it's not an unfavored spot is what it's called, because um, that won't give any affection. So uh, the enjoyment's already low enough, I can't do it anymore. So now we're going to play a game. So there are three games you can choose from. You're going to want to pick Tile Puzzle, and the reason for that is because Berry Picker and Head It both have 60 second timers which means you cannot finish the game in under 60 seconds, no matter what. And Tile Puzzle, you'll see you can finish in as low as 10 seconds per round. And each time you finish a game, it refreshes uh, the levels of your Pokemon, like in terms of enjoyment, fullness, that kind of stuff. So you'll, you'll get used to this after a while. It's a little bit hard at first. But ideally, you want to just get under 15 seconds, 15 seconds or under in each try, and then you'll get these frosted puffs, two of them. And so ideally you'll just get three 15 seconds or lower in a row and you'll get six frosted puffs. So you'll play this game three times in a row before going back. I'm not sure this is the optimal way to do it, but it's definitely not bad, so... So see I got 16 there, which means I only get one Frosted Puff, which is fine, it's just you want to get as many as possible. And the Frosted ones give one more than the regular ones in terms of affection, so... So that was 10 seconds, as long as it's below 15 seconds it doesn't really matter what you get. 
can still just get two of these puffs and you'll refresh your levels of fullment and enjoyment. Or fullness and enjoyment. So now we're gonna go back. We're gonna feed all the frosted ones we have. Should be around five or six before it becomes full again. So yeah, I can feed one more, which would be a frosted one, but I, I messed it up and sometimes that will happen. So that's fine. And so I petted once before, but now we have racked up enough enjoyment where we can pet twice. Again, doesn't matter where, as long as two different spots. And you'll get affection for both of them. And we'll go back and play the game two more times, I think. And then we'll be good. And as you can see, once you get good at this, it becomes really fast and routine. And you definitely get the hang of it after four or five attempts. This is like the easiest level, so it shouldn't be that bad. Two of those, and you go back to the main menu. And feed all the frosted ones you have once again. And doing all of the puffs you have should get you there. And if you don't necessarily get there just off of these, you can also just pet your Pokemon and you should get there. So there it is. So that little animation there means you've reached two levels of affection, which means that you will get the boosted experience in battle. And I'll just show it off, show that off just to you gotta clear all these text boxes. And ideally you just go back to the that that spot where you can access your bag from just those buttons at the bottom. So obviously we're just going to encounter this Pokemon. Little animation at the beginning doesn't really lose any time. And just kill this Pokemon just to show it has boosted experience, I guess. So there's the boosted text box there. And yeah, that's all. So, um, if you do this fast enough, and basically just follow the steps that I've illustrated here um, quickly, you should be able to do this in runs in around 5 minutes. So, um, it loses around 5 minutes to get this boosted experience. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. Um, let me know if you have any questions.